Uh, this job site was interesting, is that the word? Uh, interesting things about this job site were... Okay. Interesting things about this job site were, uh... They're not making this right Rubber razors. You wanna say up? Is it laughing? Go, go, go whenever. <laughs> I acted in fifth grade. I'm gonna harness this power. <laughs> it's still recording. How's the tree in Wizard of Oz? Hi, I'm Jaden Dusso. I, uh, work at AWA. Hello, my name is Jaden Dusso. I work at AWA, and we're at Pine River Association Beach today. We retrofitted the stairs so the water can get a chance to go into the ground and absorb, other than going over the stairs like it was before on the hard compact surface. We put down mulch and installed water bars. The water bars are meant to divert the water into the woods so it's easier to absorb and the mulch is here so it can slow down the water so it's easier to absorb. This is the riprap trench. It's meant to slow down water for absorption as well and it also stops sediment and other stuff going into the ponds and we also planted native plants around. Um, this is to kind of keep the soil intact with their root systems and it's also aesthetically uh, pleasing. One thing I found very uh, special about this site was the uh, local interaction that we had. Uh, people came with snacks and helped us out and told us what great of a job we were doing and used the beach right after we um, restored it and everything, which was a great feeling. All right, so this is our next uh, site, which is on uh, Level Lake where we have um, an infiltration pathway with uh, water bars, and then we also have a riprap trench up there where we've uh, retrofitted it. Uh, so this is the um, infiltration pathway. So through here we just kind of dug a trench down through here um, and then installed these water bars right here. Um, and then we put gravel and then we did a nice little bit of mulch along the side. And so essentially all the water would come running down the hill um, and this way this kind of prevents that from happening. It has the water kind of seep into the ground and the water bars, you know, can slow that down even more if there's quite a bit of water. And then the mulch as well, so it kind of keeps it inside the trench so it doesn't kind of overspill from the trench. So this is the um, riprap trench that we retrofitted. So we took out all the rocks and sediment out of the bottom and then put that the sediment down there and then we put all the rocks back in and then we also threw some more uh, more rocks in there to make it, uh, make it better, look better. Um, and so that just kind of goes all the way down to a drywall and essentially all of the water and sediment coming over here will essentially get trapped and blocked by the riprap in these giant rocks and will get stuck there so hopefully that way you know, the water will also kind of go down in the ground at the same time. So it all works out pretty good. So this site was um, pretty challenging for a couple of reasons. We had the uh, infiltration path was uh, very rooty, so there were lots of roots and stones that we had. I can't. <laughs> Oh. Hi, my name is Jamie Carlberg. I work for Awa. We're here on Horn Pond visiting a site we did earlier in the season. The BMPs we installed were a drip line trench and some mulch. We put mulch in this area because it's a really wide open area and before there was a hard packed ground that water would just run right over and the mulch will help slow down the runoff and help it seep into the ground. This is a drip line trench that we install underneath the overhang of the roofs of houses to catch the water that runs off of the roofs and allow it to seep into the ground rather than running over the hard pack surface that would have been here before. Oh, didn't see you there. This is our job site on uh, Province Lake. Uh, we installed two BMPs. We put in rubber razors and a infiltration pathway to kind of slow down the water and also direct it towards the woods. This is a rubber razor. Its main purpose is to direct water towards the dry wells at the end, which allows water to absorb into the ground. Um, the most interesting thing about this job site was definitely like the amount of gravel that we moved and um, the amount of work that we put into it. 
it was really satisfying to kind of like see the finished product and see how nice it looked and see it actually work. My name is Bryce Stetson, I'm part of the Awa crew. Today we're on uh, Bulch Lake on one of the sites that we did um, where we installed quite a few uh, BMPs. Rubber razors, um, drip line trench, we did some mulch um, as well as we also retrofitted some of the um, water bars as well. This one, the water would come fl uh, running down this hill on both sides of these stairs and so what we did to prevent this was we put down um, erosion control mulch which is this thick uh, mulch that will essentially prevent the water from moving as fast and kind of stop it. And then also as it absorbs into the ground these plants will take up the water so they also as a use as a preventative to slow down and stop the water. Which is a drip line trench. So we dug this about a foot wide, foot deep. Um, and so essentially what happens is from the roof, when the water comes off the roof, it drips down into the gravel and the, it goes down into the ground. So this trying to essentially just diverts the water in the ground instead of just kind of pooling right here in the soil. These are um, existing water bars that were already here. So essentially what we did is we just dug about six inches um, from the front of the water bar and put, filled it in with gravel. So that just helps again when the water comes down, it goes down in the gravel besides just having solid dirt. Um, and then also in between each water bar we put um, some mulch. So that as well helps it slow down and then if it keeps going, you know, it hits the rocks and goes down. Um, and then we've got a couple of water bars and some more mulch that goes down that path. Our next site was on Pine River Pond where for BMPs we installed a drip line trench, some mulch, and we also planted some plants. We installed the drip line trench underneath the edge of the roof of the house so that any water running off of the roof would have the ability to trickle into the ground rather than just running over the hard packed surface that would have been here before. And the mulch in front of it is for any additional runoff to be slowed down and then the plants help to keep the mulch in place. Some interesting things about this site were that there were actually a lot of rocks where we were digging the dripline trench and they were some really fun shapes of the rocks and we were really satisfied with how the whole thing turned out. Uh, we're here on our next site on uh, Bellow Lake. So some of the BMPs that we have on this site was we had a rubber razor, infiltration trench, uh, infiltration pathway. Uh, we also retrofitted some water bars and uh, did a mulching some area. This is the rubber razor. So essentially the water running off this hill, this would essentially direct it and we have a dry well at that, so just direct the water in the dry well where it would go into the ground and hopefully not erode down the side of the hill. Uh, this is the infiltration pathway and then we also have water bars in, uh, in it as well. And so essentially the water kind of running down here, essentially the water, bar, or the water bars will essentially direct the water into these mulch and plants that we have right here um, and then also slow it down so it gets down into the uh, gravel. This is the drip line trench, so essentially the water and runoff coming off the roof will go down into the gravel and down into the ground instead of just kind of pooling and kind of running down the side of the hill. Alright, so this is our final and last BMP that we did. Um, so we essentially, these are kind of steps slash water bars and we essentially just dug out the dirt in front of them and replaced it with gravel so that way when the water came down the steps, instead of just going down the steps, hopefully it will go into the gravel and kind of down into the ground and kind of off more of the side. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Uh, my name... <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Go sit in the car. <laughs> Go! <laughs> this is a rubber razor. It's meant to uh, direct water towards the dry wells that we made at the end. Um, it allows water to soak into the water. It allows water to soak into the water. Going. A drip line trench. Mm. <laughs> this is a drip line trench that we dig underneath the overhang of the roofs of houses so that the water that runs off the roof. <laughs> this job site was interesting because of the amount of gravel that we moved. Um, and it was also interesting because I was supposed to say something, but like I forget what it was. <laughs> These kids are children. <laughs> you got that on videotape, didn't you?